been so crazy happy because I had been going to church and listening to messages and hearing people say, I heard from God. I'm like, I've never heard from him. I know he's out there, but, you know, why do people do that? Is that for real? And you know what it was? It was for me. And the best part is that I got to encourage somebody. Because really, like Emily, I'm an encourager. I see people, and I don't, I know some people see problems, and I, I see friends. Because people to me are so amazing. There's stories in there, and there's lessons, and there's love in each person to, to give and to get. But it's what you see. You find what you're looking for. So here in God is where it's at for me. The peace I have and that I hold on to is because he does speak to me. And he speaks to me because I'm listening. Being intentional isn't an accident. It's on purpose. You really have to want him. You know, I have kids and I love them so much, you know. And I often think that if you have something that you love, you want it to be around you. And he wants to take care of us, but we won't let him. Because we think we know the way. But his way is the right way. And I was doing a song for uh, Dylan, and it's called Learning to Be the Light. And we can't be light if we're not reflecting him. Because there's nothing in this world that's for us. You like that song, there's nothing here for us. The only thing we have here are souls. Like, I love my son, Dad. He's my firstborn. And he's going to be calm. But God told me two years ago, I'm going to move him to Bali. And I'm like, what? Really? Good? <laughs> and it is. And it's not easy, but it's worth it. Because when you love something, you release it. You let it grow. You let it become what he wants it to be. Because they're not ours. They're his. So, most of the time when I'm with God, I hear him through his word. Every now and then I hear him in my heart, and I hear him say things like, it's going to be okay, Maria. I was raised in a very fear-driven home. I was raised in a Catholic home. It's Mexican, so it's different from American Catholic, <laughs> or even Filipino Catholic. It's a transcend. But for me, being afraid is normal. But I didn't want to be afraid anymore, because it's not... It's not good. That's why I became a people pleaser for so many years because I wanted to make everybody happy because I didn't want to be sad. But becoming a child of the king has called me to be fearless and faithful. And I can't be any of those things unless I spend time with my father. And it's that devotion in the morning when you know that your God is for you, that authority is who you are in him. You are no longer afraid. You are now like excited. Because in the morning, darkness is afraid of me. Amen. 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 <laughs> so whenever I stop, I stop and I think like my friend Heidi, I can get distracted. I feel like Dory the fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cannoli. Okay, I'm going to go back to that room where I forgot what I remember. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, but I keep swimming. I keep going. I'm going to race through. I'm fine. It's just work for you both. <laughs> but it's not. you got to look. You find what you're looking for, right? If you look for good, you find good. Yeah. If you look for fear, he will be there. The thing is what changes everything. Trust in the Lord. Thank you, And if you do, like Emily, you're going to be blessed with an adventure. Life is a dream. The dreams he gave you are amazing and you can't live them sitting down. Faith is action. It's not, oh, he's, he is faithful. Get off your butt. Do something different. You will not go to Bali. You will not save your friends. Your family's going to fall apart if you don't become the light in your family. Why our lives are where they're at. It's because we haven't made that decision. The decision.
decision that changes everything. That he is my Lord. I am not the Lord of my life. He is the Lord of my life. So that means I don't get to tell him what to do with this life that he's given me. I get to listen. But to listen, you have to be quiet. People say, oh, you talk a lot. I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> but I really do listen. Because I'm always listening. And I'm watching. And there's certain people that I see and I say, okay, God wants me to pray for that person. I don't know what's wrong, but I truly believe that God has a good plan for them. So my last scripture, scripture like last week is Ephesians 2.14. For God has predestined, pre-planned my life, and it's a good plan. Why would I want any other plan? And so as I was listening today to my friends, I said, God, I need you to tell me what you want me to say. And this is what I'm going to end with. And it says, Isaiah 45. It starts in the middle of verse 3. It says, I will do this so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one that calls you by name. I called you by name when you did not know me. I am the Lord. There is no other God. I have prepared you, even though you did not know me. So all the world from east to west will know there is no other God. I am the Lord and there is no other. I am the one who creates the light and makes the darkness. I am the one who sends good times and bad times. I, the Lord, am the one who does these things. Open up, O heavens, and pour out your righteousness. Let the earth open wide so salvation and righteousness can sprout up together. I, the Lord, created them. So you choose. You can be saved, but if you are not right, you cannot bless. So choose to be blessed to be a blessing so that your life can make a difference. Thank you.